So let's start from the beginning. I want you to know you were completely unexpected. I wasn't looking for you, yet when I look back on those early days now, we met at the perfect time. It's a pinch yourself moment when you realise you get to spend the rest of your life with someone who truly lights up your life. And my God, isn't it a burn to see you the most gorgeous thing I've ever seen? I truly am the luckiest man. I don't want to even imagine what my life would be like without you in it. I don't tell you this very often, but you're the best thing that's ever happened to me. Hun, you're my rock and I'm so proud to be carrying your last name. And I'm forever grateful you chose me to be your wife. Emily Del Pozo. A name I will never grow tired of saying. A face I will never grow tired of seeing. My better half I will never grow tired of loving. I have a unique perspective on Josh and Em's relationship because I was there when the first move was made all the way up until today. It was 2014 and Josh had been working at a bar called Bridget for about two years when Em's older sister Michelle got a job. When her younger sister was also start to set work there, Michelle's strict instructions to Josh were, my sister's getting a job here in a few months and you aren't allowed to hook up with her. Little did she know, she'd just set a challenge for the most competitive person to ever walk the face of the earth. Josh just didn't know that he was going to fall in love with the challenge. And it's natural to think that Josh being the confident man that he is, that he was the one that made the first move on M, but that's not the case. M was new to the job and one day Josh walks into the bar and goes, the new girl wants me. So at first I was skeptical until I saw M use her trademark move on Josh. We're all in the bar, Josh walks past, she takes her opportunity, pretends to drop something, sticks her bum out and goes, oopsie. <laughs> it was a classic move, Em, and one that won his heart from the moment he met you. Josh literally thought to himself, damn, I'm gonna spend all my time and energy on that girl. It's safe to say the chemistry was real. But this, ladies and gentlemen, is the reason why we are here tonight. This is a coaster, the exact coaster that led to Josh and M kissing properly for the first time. Their travels are always a highlight. They make a mighty fine team because they genuinely love each other's company. Give them all those adventures, but give them the simple moments too. Just cuddling up together with their dog Rosie in the morning is perfection. If it's followed by a walk and brekkie together, well, then that's about as perfect as it gets. It's those simple moments that are the very heart of their relationship. They stitch together all the big ones and allow them to appreciate what they have in each other. So it seemed only fitting that it would be in those moments that Josh would propose. Every Friday morning they get up, get coffee and walk Rosie along the bay. So Josh dropped his knee at their spot called The Hill where they take Rosie to play fetch and the moment could not have been more perfect. Em said that Josh knows her so well and the day was everything she could have hoped for, finishing with a surprise dinner with both sides of their families to celebrate. They say there are only a few moments in life where time truly stops. It happened when I first laid my eyes on you. It happened when I asked you to marry me. And it's happening again right now. I've thought about this moment every single day in the lead up to this wedding and nothing, and I mean nothing, could have prepared me for watching you, the love of my life, walk down the aisle. You don't need to look very far in this room for great examples of how a beautiful marriage is. It's a privilege to share life with your best friend. 
No joke, I'm not talking about you. <laughs> Start this time around, brother. <laughs> Life will challenge you in so many ways, but your best friend and partner will see you through it. Like I said when I proposed and I got on one knee, it's always been you. And it really has. A lot of people may say it is a throwaway line, but not everyone can prove it. Lucky for me, in the year of 2015, travelling through Europe missing you like crazy, I put pen to paper and wrote. If this past week is any indication of how much I love this girl, then I definitely know I have found the one. Ooh, my God. <laughs> I love you. Josh and I have a very close friendship, so close that I think there are times where Karen and Gonzalo thought it would be us getting married here in Port Douglas. Now I can safely say that Em is my best friend and I'm so honoured to stand by your side today as you marry your soulmate. Being tasked to describe how much I love you and why I love you is an impossible task. There simply aren't the words to put into perspective how you light up my life, but here it goes. Emily, you are a bubbly, smiley, energetic, incredible human being who brings me so much happiness. You make my life exciting, you're always up for a fun adventure, and you make me laugh each and every day, and yes, most of the time it's at you. Now Josh and Em have all the hallmarks of a healthy relationship, trust, respect, communication, support and a fierce rivalry. We can all agree Emily and Josh are extremely competitive, uh, individually and as a couple. Who tells the best stories, who wins at board games, who's better at working out. I'm super competitive and need to be better than him at everything I do, including my vows and this speech. So Josh, tonight, as Emily's new husband, please let her come first. <laughs> Cheers, everyone. In keeping with the competitive theme, I need to let everyone know, it was me that called it. Eight years ago, when Em walked into our house, I turned to Karen and I said to honestly, she's the one. So here we are today. Mum and Dad, nothing I will ever say will truly reflect how much I care, respect and love the both of you. I know one thing for sure though, and that's Emily I only fell in love with the Josh you both helped create. You instilled the importance of family so heavily into Josh. This is one of our similarities and is something we hope to pass on when we have little Del Pozos. Mumsy and Dad. <laughs> Where do I even start? I owe the both of you everything. Ever since I can remember, you have always been by my side. I want to thank you for the life you have given me. I can count on you guys for anything, and just because I'm married now, don't think that that's going to stop. <laughs> My wife and I's hearts skipped several beats today when we saw our beautiful Emily. When Josh came to tell us that he wanted to ask you to marry him, our hearts were bursting with happiness because we knew that his life ahead was going to be filled with everything we wanted for him. Because Emily, it complete our son. We are so excited and happy for them as they start their new life. The joys they will share together, the magic of family and kids, the challenges and the inevitable ups and downs that we know that life will bring their way. Emmy, I love you with all my heart. Sisters make the best friends in the world. Friends grow up, they move away, or you just simply move on. But one thing that's never lost is sisters.
It's no surprise that I need you in my life. You think I need you to constantly spell check things and because I'm technologically challenged. But here's why I really need you. You have always loved me for me and have never given up on me. You not only laugh at, but embrace some of my worst qualities, including eating with my mouth open. It's just too late, so you are definitely stuck with that. I need you because you are patient and God knows you need to be with me. It amazes me how much patience you have with me. You are a rarity and I'm so lucky you chose me even after the world's worst first kiss. <laughs> I need you because you're the only one that shares a soul as immature, youthful and competitive as mine. I love how everything is a competition with us and I'm just letting you know my vows will totally be better than yours. When I look at you, I see someone who I can't wait to tackle life with head on. I can't wait to travel the world with you. I can't wait to create a home with you. I can't wait to create a family of our own together. I can't wait to create a lifetime of memories together. Vowing to spend the rest of my life with you is an absolute privilege. And the only downside is that one lifetime will simply never be enough. But for our lifetime together, I want our marriage to be measured by the laughs and smiles we bring to each other every day. Uh, David, you also deserve an honourable mention, as mentioned earlier. And had you painstakingly right pick me up and bang me on 80 tambourines. And I, sh I should have known better when I picked up my tambourine and thinking, pick me up and bang me of where this whole night was going to go. One, two, three, Emily Louise Horton, we made it. <laughs> I vow to be your best friend, your companion, your life partner, and one day an incredible father to our children. I vow to always listen to your advice and take it most of the time. I vow to always do what you tell me, it just might not be straight away. I vow to be competitive with you until we're grey and old and probably still then as well. I vow to love you even when you say things are lost before actually looking for them. I vow to encourage you, despite your unhealthy obsession with lollies and popcorn. And most importantly, I vow to love you more than anyone else in the world, even though I do sometimes wonder if you actually love Rosie more than me. In all seriousness though, Em, with every inch of my heart and soul, I vow to make you proud to call me your husband, because it's an absolute blessing to be able to call you my wife. truly enjoy each other's company. They laugh a lot together. They have loving family and friends around them. This wedding is an epitome of your love for one another. It's heartfelt, well organised, so much fun and extravagant. When our journey gets hard, I promise to keep our life together as exciting, adventurous, and full of passion as I can, because that's exactly what you have brought into mine. You always put me first and on the highest pedestal. You give me all the confidence in the world. You encourage and challenge me, but when I truly need you, you're the first person standing next to me offering your hand. So, honey, here we are at last. I've been ready for this day from the moment we met. Our chance encounter at Ridges sent my whole life into motion. Now we're married. You sent my whole life into motion. Now, it's my turn to extend that same invitation to you, a VIP ticket to sit beside me for the exhilarating ride of a life. I did, and I always will choose you today and for the rest of our lives. this. I love you through time and all relative dimensions. I love you 3,000. Oh. <laughs> I know this wedding has had two dates, two types of suits and even two venues, but Emily Del Pozo, forever and always, there will only be one year. 
I want to thank you for filling my life with adventure and love each and every step of the way. I never want to wish our lives away, but at the same time, I'm excited for the day when our hair turns grey, our skin becomes wrinkly and the world around us looks different. I'm excited because I know we will look back and reminisce on all the memories we created together. I know when I look back on my life and think, that was fun and exciting, it'll all be because of you. From this moment onwards, I really could go on to do nothing else in my life and I'd be content just knowing that I achieved everything and more by marrying you today. Emily, my heart is yours, today and forever. I love you. <laughs>